What's up guys and welcome back to Wall Street Millennial. On this channel, we cover everything related to stocks and investing. In the past, when people talked about the big three US automakers, they were referring to General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler. But over the past couple years, things have changed tremendously in the industry. Today, the big three automakers are Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid. At $1.1 trillion and $105 billion respectively, Tesla and Rivian have larger market caps than General Motors or Ford. After pulling back in the past few days, Lucid's market cap of $77 billion is slightly less than GM's $90 billion. But at their peak of $56 per share on Wednesday, November 17th, they were worth more than GM. Both Lucid and Rivian are essentially pre-revenue companies. But they're able to achieve such insanely high market valuations because people are excited about electric vehicles and think that they are the future. Lucid only made its first deliveries on October 30th of this year. But investors are excited by the 17,000 refundable pre-orders for the Lucid Air, which shows that there is real demand for their cars. But the incumbent automakers are also making EVs of their own. In the first 9 months of 2021, Ford has sold roughly 19,000 of their all-electric Mustang Mach-E's. This is more than all of Lucid's pre-orders. They also have the all-electric F-150 Lightning, which will be released in 2022. While it's true that the vast majority of Ford's business is still the internal combustion engine, even if you only consider their electric vehicles, they are still bigger than Lucid or Rivian. Yet somehow, Lucid has a larger market cap than Ford, despite the fact that even by their own estimates, they plan to burn billions of dollars per year until 2026. If you compare Ford to Lucid or Rivian, it looks like the stock market is giving them zero credit for their internal combustion engine or ICE business. In fact, they may be receiving a negative valuation because Ford is worth less than Lucid despite having far more EV deliveries. It seems absurd that their ICE business which generates over $100 billion of revenue per year and billions of dollars of net profit could have a negative valuation. In this video, we'll look at Ford's EV business and see if there's any way to justify Lucid and Rivian being worth more than them. Ford has a market cap of $78 billion, but they also have about $65 billion of net debt, most of which can be attributed to their Ford credit division, which provides financing to customers who buy Ford and Lincoln vehicles. They also own a 12% stake in Rivian, which is worth about $12 billion. This means their total enterprise value minus the Rivian stake is $131 billion. So when you look at total enterprise value, Ford is actually about 25% more valuable than Rivian, and about 70% more valuable than Lucid. Now let's take a look at Ford's electric vehicles to see how they stack up against Rivian and Lucid. For many years, the legacy automakers including Ford and GM were rightfully criticized for ignoring EVs. They would pay lip service to EVs and make a few hybrid cars, but they primarily focused on maintaining their ICE business. This all changed in 2020 when Tesla's stock increased more than tenfold, giving the company a market cap in excess of all the legacy automakers combined. When this happened, Ford and GM finally pulled their heads out of the sand and realized that they had to start taking electrification seriously. In the fall of last year, Ford appointed Jim Farley as their new CEO. And to his credit, he's gone all in on EVs. Ford currently has three electric vehicles that are either out now or in the works. Firstly, they have the all-electric Mustang Mach-E, which started deliveries at the beginning of 2021. To date, they have sold roughly 19,000 of them. Secondly, they have the all-electric F-150 Lightning pickup truck, which will be released in 2022. And finally, they have the all-electric e-transit van, which will also be released in 2022. Over the next couple years, Ford will invest $7 billion in EV manufacturing facilities in Tennessee and Kentucky. They're also partnering with a South Korean company called SK Innovation to help build up their battery capabilities. Between the two of them, they will invest more than $11 billion. Ford claims this is the largest one-time electrification investment of any US automaker. The Mustang Mach-E has a starting price of $43,000 and has been quite successful since its launch at the beginning of this year. Part of this can be attributed to the Mustang brand name, which is one of the most valuable brands that Ford owns. But what's even more exciting than the Mach-E is the Ford F-150 Lightning electric pickup truck. Ford has made its F-Series pickup truck since 1948, and they have consistently topped the charts for most popular car models in the US. In 2020, the Ford F-Series was the most popular car model in more than half of the states in the US. To date, the F-150 Lightning has 160,000 pre-orders. Given how strong demand is, they doubled their annual production target to 80,000 vehicles per year by 2024 in their new Tennessee and Kentucky factories. To put this into perspective, Ford's pre-orders for their Lightning is almost 10 times greater than Lucid's pre-orders for the Lucid Air. Part of this is because the Lightning's price point of $43,000 is much lower than the Lucid Air's price of $77,000. 
But another reason is Ford's brand value. Ford has built a track record over the past 100 years. Consumers have purchased Ford cars in the past and know what to expect. Furthermore, they're utilizing their most iconic brands including the Mustang and F-Series. Lucid and Rivian are at a disadvantage because they are starting from scratch. Besides car enthusiasts, nobody really knows them. But the most important thing for any EV manufacturer is production. It's one thing to have a prototype, but it's a completely different thing to have the manufacturing facilities to produce hundreds of thousands or even millions of vehicles per year. Neither Lucid nor Rivian have done any manufacturing at scale, so investors will just have to trust them that they can get it right. According to their own estimates, Lucid expects to make 251,000 deliveries in 2026. They also plan to burn $2.7 billion of negative free cash flow in 2022, negative $3.2 billion in 2023, and negative $1.5 billion in 2024, and then they will barely break even in 2025. Currently, they have a little less than $5 billion of cash, so they will almost certainly have to raise more capital over the next few years and dilute existing shareholders. Rivian CEO RJ Scaringe is targeting 1 million annual deliveries by 2030. But similar to Lucid, they will also be burning billions of dollars per year for the foreseeable future. Rivian currently has only one factory which has a maximum capacity of 150,000 per year. They have not announced any concrete plans to build new factories. If you want to believe their 1 million vehicle target by 2030, you have to blindly believe that they'll be able to build multiple new production sites across the world, which will cost billions of dollars each. Ford delivered more than 4 million vehicles across the world in 2020 and have over 100 years of experience in mass production. They also delivered 19,000 battery electric vehicles to date in 2021. And they have concrete plants to build up their battery production in their Tennessee and Kentucky plants so that they can produce 1 million EVs per year in 2025. Well, look, we're ramping up now. We have almost 20 gigawatt hours. The uh, Mach-E and the F-150 are completely sold out. F-150, we're above 150,000 orders now. So we're, we're not waiting for anyone. We're in the market now. It's show, not tell time. And yes, this is going to be a further ramp up of our battery electric volumes. As I said, a million units worth of battery capacity just for Ford. So do the math. You know, we sell about two, two million vehicles in the United States. This announcement alone is a million vehicles worth of battery. So it's a very large scaling. We're not going to tell everyone what the, what the product is, but we have a whole full F-Series lineup. We're the best-selling vehicle in America. Uh, we sell over a million F-Series, and we're going to build lots of new kinds of ground-up battery electric F-Series in this plant. On top of that, Ford is profitable today. They generate billions of dollars of free cash flow from their ICE vehicles and their vehicle financing arm Ford Credit. They can fund their investments in electric vehicles internally with their own free cash flow. If Rivian or Lucid want to get anywhere near the 1 million vehicles, they need to raise billions of dollars of new capital. While both of them are flush with cash now from their IPOs, this will run out pretty quickly given how much cash they burn. Even if you give them zero credit for their ICE business and Ford credit, Ford's EV business alone will likely be multiples larger than Rivian or Lucid. While it is true that Ford has $65 billion of net debt, this is not nearly enough to explain the valuation gap between them and the new EV startups. While this video isn't financial advice, it's pretty clear that Rivian and Lucid are massively overvalued. Because they're pure play EV companies, investors are willing to bid up their prices almost arbitrarily high. EV companies are in a situation similar to the internet companies in the 1990s.com bubble. It doesn't matter if you're burning billions of dollars per year. As long as you have a cool looking car and are on a mission to solve climate change, you can get a $100 billion valuation. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about Rivian and Lucid? Do you think it's reasonable that they both have market caps larger than Ford? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.